Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we get to take a look at the 2023 Hyundai Elantra N. This is finished off in intense blue and the MSRP for the N model starts right around $32,000. So we have a very performance oriented Hyundai Elantra, which is impressive to see. Powering this N model is the two liter four cylinder turbo. This model is paired to the eight speed dual clutch automatic transmission and it pumps out 286 horsepower, 288 pound-feet of torque. Sent to those front wheels, it will propel this 3,300-pound sedan from zero to 60 in 4.8 seconds. Top speed for this Elantra is 155. And as far as fuel economy goes, you're looking right around 22 miles per gallon in the city, 31 out on the highway. As we work our way to the exterior styling now, you will notice the massive Hyundai logo on the top section of the front fascia. There's plenty of cutouts both in the middle and on each ends to provide a lot of cooling to that turbo engine. This does have LED headlights, very nice thin housing for them. Turn signals are right in the middle there and then very crisp lines come down the hood. The Elantra has a very unique shape to it up front compared to other sedans in its class and this even gets the red accents which match nicely with this blue. It also gets the N brake calipers with the N wheels that are 19 inches with that two-tone design. There's gloss black for the side mirrors with the turn signal, sunroof up top, gloss black surrounding all of the window trim. And then take a look at all the crisp lines running throughout the door. Very unique compared to some other sedans and it just sets it apart. Gives it more of that aggression for the side like you saw up front. And going off of that, we even get a massive trunk mounted spoiler for your Elantra. Actually looks very good for this. There's a backup camera, all the sensors, the light bar that runs right through that trunk, and then the dual exhaust. We can take a listen to it. Not very loud in its normal start up there, but stay tuned because you definitely get some pops. The diffuser is pretty aggressive too with the four edges fins right there, which is awesome to see. And then you can use the key fob or the button right there to open up this trunk. Now you'll notice right off the bat, we have some stabilizer bars that kind of hinder some of your storage because you can fold the seats down. You just have to go under or over that. You have a bin on one side, same with the other side and a good bit of storage for this style sedan. And as we hop into the back now, for this end model, you get some nice materials on the door panel. There is some plastic that's to be expected, a little bit of storage down below, and then the leather and suede seats, which are actually pretty comfortable. And at five foot 10, I have plenty of space. This is pretty much all you get. There's no climate adjustments. There's no armrest in the middle, but you get a decent amount of headroom too. So it is functional to transport passengers in the back. Front door panel is just like the rear. This even has the Bose audio. And then this is the biggest difference with the end. These beautiful sport bucket seats. White end logo there, great bolstering support. They are manual adjusting seats, but they definitely hug you well. We have the trunk and fuel cap release located down below too. And let's fire this back up where we have the leather and perforated leather steering wheel. End badge down below. We also have paddle shifters as well. And then on this left side, there's volume, tuning, mode, your Bluetooth and voice commands and favorites. On this right side, there's the cruise and adaptive cruise along with your distance, your steering assist. And then you can also go through a lot more info in the gauge cluster. So you have a tension level, you have your distance pacing, you can monitor some of this information here, including a lot more vitals just depending on what you'd like to see. And there's a compass as well. Now, this also has the end buttons, which automatically change the exhaust note. And you also have NGS, which is the N grit shift. You can use that while you're out on the highway. If you need to pass, you have to be in drive, of course, and sport mode to use it. Uh, but it's a pretty cool little trick to have for this vehicle. Left side, trashing control, lane keeping assist, and dimmer switches. And then for the touchscreen system, you can further monitor the end settings and look at all of this information. You can even activate launch control. You have performance options that you can go into, nav, your phone. It's a really easy system to go through. You can even use everything down below 
to further go through that. You have your favorites, volume and tuning, and then all of the climate adjustments with your fan speed, temperature dials, this even gets heated seats, you have defrosters, everything is laid out very well. Wireless charging with some more auxiliaries, if we put it into reverse, you only get a backup camera, there's no 360 or anything. You can also shift using the shifter itself there, and you can also go through the three different driving modes, eco, normal, and sport. There's a shortcut to the camera system, cup holders and e-brake, get a little bit in the armrest there, as well as much more in the glove box. And then you have your dome lights and adjustments for the sunroof up top. You can't even see that rear wing from the driver's seat, so it doesn't obstruct visibility. It's pretty easy to see in all directions. And from second gear, here we go. We got a few pops in that exhaust. It's not overly loud, but on some of the downshifts, you can definitely hear it kind of gurgle and pop slightly. So it's not overboard, again, especially for this type of family style sedan. As far as the turning radius goes, it feels a bit stiff. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty wide for a small car like this, but you get that for the handling and the performance with that direct steering. And of course, shifts are super quick with that dual clutch. But behind the wheel now for the Elantra N, this is a vehicle to get excited about. This is something that is competing with the Civic Type R, which costs significantly more. I don't really know of any other economy four-seater, a WRX possibly, maybe the Camry TRD. Uh, I don't think that's quite as performance oriented. It's more of a body kit for the Toyota version, but there's a few vehicles in this price point. I would say this is probably at the lower spectrum of that, but it's almost not only the most fun, but I feel like it offers a lot more as far as daily driving comforts, like the adaptive cruise, in some of those other features. So way to go Hyundai for introducing this sporty, kind of underrated sedan. I don't see too many of them around, so it is exciting to see one out on the road. But yeah, this is a fun, this is a fun sedan. I think that's gonna wrap it up though for the Elantra N. Once again, a huge shout out to Hendrick Lexus Northlake for providing this for me today. Check out their website, give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.